Good morning guys! Welcome back to my channel, The Becerra Family. I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about Me Josie. It is a brand that sells not... They sell eyelashes to hand creams to eyeshadows to press on nails. So I got some lashes and press on nails and I want to show you guys how to put them on. You know, as a busy mom like me, I have not had the time to go get my lashes done. Plus, I'm also giving a, getting like a little break from them. And I've been getting them very often. That can be very damaging to your own lashes. Unlike strip-ons, they won't damage your lashes as much. This is the box. And it comes with the lashes in here. Super cute. These are the ones I chose. They have various styles and lengths. Depending on the type of look you're trying to achieve. I am like more of like a natural type of look. And what's great about these lashes is that they, they do not irritate your skin. Like maybe some other lashes will. Super soft and light and comfortable. And I'm going to go ahead and try it on right here with you guys. So you can see what they look like on but really quick before we get into that i want to show you guys the other lash that i got as well which is these these are more of like a more fuller look that i would wear when i would go like maybe out on a date or out somewhere like right now that you're wearing a mask your eyes are what pops out a lot so your eyes are like speaking for you so if you have like really nice eyes with nice eyeshadows like they say a lot about you so i think it's nice to like kind of focus on your eyes right now especially since we do have to wear a mask so these are the two styles that i got and i'll live in the description below exactly which styles i got and i want to share with you guys press on nails like can you see right now my nails are not the business they are they're looking so beat up i have not been able to go get my nails done i'm just so busy um being with um, the kids at home that i don't have the time to go and get my nails done sometimes so sometimes my nails are looking really ugly and when i take pictures of like cups or stuff that i have when my nails look busted i'm like oh, sorry luckily with these press on nails like you can do them yourself really quick at home and you don't have to go to a salon or to go get your nails done and sit there for an hour or two because i know like me sometimes i do not have the time even if i even if i do want to get my nails done i don't have the time to sit there for an hour or two to get my nails done because i have other things that i have to do that are more important so these are super awesome that you can just put on yourself at home so this is one style that i got i like that their nails the type of designs they had um they weren't just like one color or just one shape or one length they have like a variety of colors a variety of different lengths and different shapes of the nail so that's really cool so these are kind of like an oval design and they have like a uh, marble and french tip and everything you you will need to put them on or inside this box so and the instructions are written on the back so it's super simple for you guys to do i will show you guys on the camera how i put them on and this is another set that i got which i thought was super cute they are like cheetah print um if i could choose my favorite color it would probably be cheetah even though that's not a color it's a pattern but i just think it's super cute so these are like different shades of brown and then cheetah so i think i'm gonna put these on just because I'm feeling a little cheetah-licious. The salon look. And they do not damage your natural nails. I do like the look of the acrylic nails. But last time I got them, my nails got very messed up. You can wear these for up to 14 days. So they can last on. If you do apply them correctly, they will last up to 14 days on. And then you can just switch off to your next one. And they won't damage your nails underneath. They are waterproof, so if you do want to wash your dishes and you have other things to do, and right now hand washing is very important, don't worry, your nails will not fall off. All the styles that I'm wearing and that I mentioned will be in the description down below. But not only that, I also have a discount code for you guys, which I'll leave right here. And as well, it will be in the description down below. With my code Becerra10, you can save $10 off a $30 purchase, which is super awesome. Because who doesn't want to save $10? Because I know I love to save money. Now let's get right into it.
what a difference it makes when you wear lashes like your whole face just feels like different and you just feel so much better so this is the look so now we're gonna put on some nails So this is a final look. It literally only took me like 10 minutes or less. I love that they're so short so it makes it look like a manicure, like natural. You guys should totally check them out. They have super cute styles and lengths for your liking. I like my nails short so this is perfect for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial of my lashes and my nails. Like I said, everything is in the description down below. The links to the exact pair of lashes and the exact pair of nails. They will be there for you guys to take a look at and buy some if you like. But now I am getting ready because me and Noah are going to Target. So we're going to go and just buy some stuff that we need here for the house. So let's go to Target. And I'm to Son como las doce y media. Yeah. Por eso ya andaba cansado. Nunca he hecho el Target Drive Up. Pero creo que sí lo voy a hacer ahorita mientras se está durmiendo en el carro. Porque no lo quiero bajar. Yeah. So, right now it seems like anything that has drive through or like just pick up is the best for me. So, we're on Starbucks. Oh my lord. Look at this line. Well, no one's sleeping, so I might as well just wait. All the way back here, and then it has to loop around and come out all the way over there. I'm using my brother's car. Like, they let me borrow it for, um, like, a month until I get my actual car. So, he has a little Prius, and it reminds me of when I used to have my Prius. Like, <laughs> brings me back, like, a couple years. So, this is the co iced coffee that I bought. And when they first gave it to me, I was like, why does it look like that? I forgot. I asked for half and half on the side. Just because sometimes they put either too much um, cream or too little. So I usually like to ask for it on the side because that way I know exactly like how much I want and how I like it. So what I got was a venti iced coffee with four pumps. Oh, I said three, but... Four pumps of sugar-free cinnamon dosha and four pumps of vanilla and then the creams on the side so This was less than four dollars. So it was only three fifty around there Versus if I would have gotten in a latte like a caramel macchiato or vanilla latte, which I like but those are around six dollars So by getting this you save yourself like about three dollars Almost three dollars, which is good because you know, we are budgeting here. So it's it's good to save money so and they, they taste the same lattes they just put more milk it's espresso with milk but this tastes just as good we're gonna add the cream look how beautiful that looks I like that they put a lot of ice too. So when you do, also when you get, um, when you ask for the cream on the side, they will put more coffee obviously. So you get your money's worth instead of them putting like this much milk and then this much coffee. I hate that because it 
and it just tastes like you're drinking milk with ice i'm like i did not just pay three dollars for milk in a cup i could have bought a whole gallon of milk so i really i want the coffee that's why i come to get coffee you know so i want the coffee so when you do ask for the cream on the side um they give you more coffee my favorite sound sound of iced coffee so um I decided not to go to Target because they don't have the stuff that I need in the drive in the drive up thing and I don't want to wake up Noah and then he's going to be crying so I'm just going to go to my mom's house uh, Joseph is off at 6 today so it's already 2pm I don't know what time it is but he gets off at 6 so I have nothing to do today today is sunday and i don't feel like being in my house and cooking and cleaning i leave that for the weekdays on the weekends it's my days off <laughs> la criada no está disponible los fines de semana and emma's not here so then i just feel like lonely in the house with just me and noah so I don't really like to be home on the weekends. During the week, I'm home every almost every single day, but on the weekends, I'll usually go to my mom's house or run errands or go to the stores because I feel like if I just stay home, I feel like I'll get a little bit depressed or something. And then my mom was like, I can't have any, like, why aren't you here? It's not like you have anything to do. I'm like, true, say less, I boy in chinga. On the weekends, I usually spend it with my mom now that joseph is back at work when he wasn't working then it was like you know well, family day we'll go to the park or something but now that he is back at work i'm over here like showing off my nails and stuff i got distracted <laughs> but i wasn't able to go to church because i was i was editing a video i know that's not a good excuse but by the time i like finish giving Noah breakfast and I realize I look at the time and I'm like it's 9 30 by the time I get ready and get Noah ready and you know because I was filming that video so I just ran out of time but yeah so yeah I'm just gonna go to my mom's house and I don't know eat lunch there and then go home before Joseph gets out of work so let's go Hi! Did you have a good nap? He woke up right when we pulled up to my mom's house, so that's good. I ended up like staying in the car at Starbucks and just drinking my coffee in peace. Meanwhile, my little Tasmanian devil woke up.